Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks. In this replay we have a vintage playing the tier 10 Czechoslovakian. Um, Auto-loading best king. It is the TVP T50-51, um, which is actually top of the tree at the moment. If anyone is interested, you know, to go and pick up this lovely vehicle, it is lovely. Like the, No doubt about that, it is awesome, it is nice, it is delicious. Um, so vintage is going to go with... Improved aiming, bond vent stamps, bond vents, but no premium consumable actually. So this is a very, very interesting setup. Like premium consumable, I mean the food consumable, of course. Um, so this is something that you don't see very often at tier 10. Usually people who you know spend their hard-earned resources, their bonds, to get those bond pieces of equipment will actually use. Um, food consumable instead of the fire extinguisher uh, But maybe vintage just feels like the the TVP gets set on fire too often I do not know but you know, maybe maybe I should keep all of the uh, All of those thoughts to myself because vintage is going to show me exactly how deadly this vehicle can be in the hands of a good player um, but yeah, Another surprising thing right is that they're actually going with regular rounds <laughs> what? <laughs> Who does that these days? Uh, but no, seriously. I do love seeing replays where the shells fired are standard rounds, where they actually go for the weak spots instead of just spamming gold everywhere. Love seeing those, so that that is like giving Vintage points in my book already. Okay, so Vintage in the TVP, top of the tree like I said. I'm trying to go east at first, see if there's anyone over there, seeing that there's just nothing to shoot at. Going towards the middle. Uh, maybe trying to find the EBR, the pattern tank that push forwards already because you know, the church position over here is very cheeky, it's very dangerous. If they actually don't send anyone towards the east, you can take that church position and just shoot into the side and the rear of those vehicles towards the center. Then we're putting one into the 113, two, unfortunately doesn't go through, three and four. 978 damage just like that and uh, you might be thinking, what is this crazy thing? What is this crazy vehicle? Well, the TVP can actually do 1,280 damage on average, right? Every 4.5 seconds once reloaded. So look at this. Look at this. Going to shoot, and then one and a half second intra clip. And it's going to be one, one and a half, two, one and a half, three, one and a half, four. Insane burst damage, and this is exactly why the TVP is very deadly. Um, yeah, you know, just needed those two clips to do 2046 damage, and that is with two shells not penetrating. Absolutely insane. If you can get the TVP into a good position, you know, catch the side of the vehicles. There we go, the side of the mouse one, trying to get him again. Two didn't hit the mouse. We do not know, unfortunately, the ammo rank gets hit by the 113 Beijing Opera who is firing heat. Um, at the TVP, you don't really need to fire heat at a TVP. I mean, this vehicle is uh, a very lightly armored. You won't be bouncing too many shells. Okay, trying to find the 113, trying to get some French into the no plate. One doesn't hit. Second one. Her. And uh, yeah, unfortunately, those two shells did not go through the 113. But you can just see, like, the one and a half second intra clip reload. That the TVP has is just insane. Like I love the Projecto 65, right? Because it has very short entropy period of 2.5 seconds, and then you have one. Unfortunately, missing. Two. Did that hit? I do not know. Three. And the fourth one finishing off the 113. A Beijing Opera over there, you know, getting some revenge on that heat firing heavy tank. Um, but yeah, 2,400 damage that we saw now. We need to say that we saw every time now, right? Because the 113 was very healthy before they got finished off. Can I catch the EBR? Just one shell. Just one shell. Just one shell to finish off that cheeky wheelie. There we go. One to the EBR. One to the side of the mouse. That is two. And three. It seems like there's some sort of curse today, isn't there? Like... It's always three out of four. It doesn't seem like a four out of four is something that a vintage can achieve today. But I mean, three out of four is still close to 1,000 damage per clip, which is insane. It's absolutely insane. But let's see how 
insane this game is actually gonna go, you know, with the mouse over here. Need to watch out, didn't we get spotted over here by the mouse? Getting spotted, unfortunately, and now the mouse can put a 500 damage around in. That is not good. That is not what we wanted, especially when the game is so close, right? We're up by one vehicle, um, but down by HP. So, so, what is Vintage going to do trying to catch the i7? It is the backside. Is it the backside of the i7? I have no idea. It does look like the backside of the i7. One to the backside doesn't go through. The second one goes through. Third goes through. Fourth goes through. Once again, once again, three out of four. It's crazy. It's crazy. I really hope that we're actually going to get um, a full clip that will pin in this battle. Because three out of four is just, it's, it's like, it's like a curse, you know? It's pretty much a curse over here. The T10 on the ridge is the one spotting us, I believe, over here. Spotting vintage. But there's the I7. Trying to, there we go, one to the backside. Just one more. One more is all we need over here. That building, by the way, if you knock it down, gives you some uh, some lovely shots over towards the mouse. One to the no plate of the mouse, gonna get the same one in. No, third one, yes. <laughs> once again, once again, three out of four. Three out of four in the clip, but the game still seems to be, you know, extremely close. Five, five, only a hundred hit point difference, when Vintage is actually up to 5,000 damage that we've seen. That we've seen, right? We're not going to, not going to fall for that over here. But this is the first time Vintage actually switches to the gold rounds, which is understandable. It is a mouse after all, one of the most heavily armored vehicles inside World of Tanks. One into the no plate, two into the no plate, and three into the turret. That was actually a really good play. Um, it was the side of the turret, and that, you know, that turret is huge compared to the no plate, which is kind of small. Go for the secure, just secure the kill, right? That's all you need to do, secure kills a lot of people don't do that they'll be like oh i'm gonna do more damage because i can no even if you see someone on one hp it's better to take out a gun rather than you know do a thousand damage or something um yeah 261 goodbye sir goodbye sir you and your artillery at the back of the map my goodness trying to find the torch it doesn't have the gun pressure unfortunately there we go one to the back side another one to the back side unfortunately not setting the torches on fire leaving them on 269 ice damage hp sorry sure um so yeah 6983 damage that we've seen and you know this game doesn't look close anymore right once you reach almost six, over 7k because there were some blind fires done um, that you should actually be able to win the game. One to the defense for life. Don't use the auto, using the auto, unfortunately, the defense for escapes. Now you don't have the shells needed to finish off the defense for Nightweight. But there's still a full health tortoise. Very dangerous. Centurion 7 1, very dangerous. And the T54 Nightweight. Over here, um, vintage of the 7,300 damage that we've seen. Four kills. Whew, what are they going to do over here? How far can they take this battle? Only down to 10 shells, which is insane. Like, it's it's not every day you see the TVP actually use up most of their shells. Um, so yeah, that's how you know you had an absolute crazy, absolute crazy round of World of Tanks with a TVP. Letting the team know as well, by the way, lovely communication. Letting them only have two clips remaining in the vehicle. Because, you know, sometimes you will run out of clips if you've seen the previous video. You, you know, maybe you should, maybe you should, because stuff like that happens. Two into the side of the centurion. And like, you don't have, you don't have shells. You don't have shells, Vintage. What are you doing? <laughs> my goodness. And there we go. Full clip. Full clip. I guess you just needed to fire on the move. I guess Vintage just needed to fire on the move. Four shells into the centurion 7-1. 1,144 damage and securing the kill over there. Like I said. 1,280 damage in a clip done in four and a half seconds. It's just insane. Absolutely insane. And there we go. Up to 8,400 damage we've seen so far. Um, <laughs> wanting to reach the 10k. Is it possible? I mean, if you fit Okay. Okay, maybe it's not possible anymore, but there is some blind shots. There were some blind shots going on here. Find the tortoise. It's a one to need one out. One to the tortoise. Two to the tortoise. Three to the no. The big bounce and the Jisoo gets the kill after the T49 shoots him as well. Nine K damage. 
with the TVP that we've seen, of course, five kills, just, you know, showing you why this vehicle is the best king of World of Tanks, right? Like I said, I don't know, a hundred times already in this video, um, 1,280 damage in four and a half seconds is insane. Like, a lot of times, it will do a lot of crits as well. You know, that's something that people don't take into account. Um, you can also track people, right? If you perma-track them, the reaction time of a lot of people is not going to be fast enough before you fire the second one. So, you can keep them tracked. If you have the dead eye skill on your gunner, then you will do a lot of crits. You will set a lot of people on fire. You will amarack a lot of people. And just having that very short critical period makes this vehicle extremely deadly. Like, sure, you don't have armor. Uh, we want the fastest. You don't have the most view range, you don't have the best gun handling. But when you can just get into a position and unload so quickly and take off half at least of almost all tier 10 vehicles, you're just going to be crazy, crazy assassin vehicle. And uh, yeah, absolutely love the, uh, the check texture line, by the way, the medium line was very nice. I mean, don't get the autoloaders until tier 9, if I'm not mistaken, uh, with the Skoda T50. But even until then, the the very reliable vehicles. Obviously, they're not going to be the best, but they are very reliable. Um, and at tier 10, you have the TVP, T50, 51, which is just insane. So, uh, yeah, top of the tree, people. Go and get the vehicle now. But GG, vintage, awesome game. 9,000 damage that we've seen. Uh, vintage actually really wants... The 10k over here, as we saw in the chat earlier, so did they reach 10k? Did they just barely reach it? Did they not reach 10k? Let's go and check the post-game stats. There we go, Ace Tanker, easily, for the 1386 damage, and as you can see, over 10k damage with the blind shots, just over, right? The two shots into the tortoise at the end just got us to that 10k mark, the 5 the five digits over here. Amazing game by Vintage. I'm getting the Tank Sniper as well. For causing 5,368 damage from a meter, from meter, from a distance of 300 meters or more. So, like, even if you get 5,000 damage in the TVP, it's going to be an amazing game. But this was only the shots from 300 meters um, or longer, which is insane. Absolutely insane. Obviously a high caliber for over 10k damage. Um, five kills, unfortunately, just, you know, not getting the tortoise at the end and missing out on the top gun over here. But, I mean, 10k top gun, you know what I'm going to pick any single day of the week. So awesome game. By Vintage, firing 45 shells. That is like almost all shells. It has 48 shells, if I'm not mistaken. Um, 41 of those hit, missing only 4 out of the 45 shells fired is insane. 34 penetrated for 10,122 damage. Um, 5 hits received, 4 penned, 1 didn't. Like I said, this vehicle is definitely not built for blocking damage. It doesn't have a lot of armor. And the only shell blocked was one by the T-54 lightweight. Um, that 250 damage gun. So... You will not bounce stuff with a TVP, but you will burst stuff instead, right? Which is a lot more fun. Now, one vehicle spotted, getting 665 damage caused due to the player's assistance. Damaging 10 of the enemy vehicles and finishing off 5 of them. So he actually needed to damage one more vehicle uh, that the allies will finish off to get a confederate medal, right? You need 6 vehicles to damage that were later killed by your allies. Um, to get the confederate so it's like one more for the confederate one more for the top gun but you know a 10k is definitely uh way better than getting a confederate or another top gun medal traveling 2.7 kilometers in this battle going from west to the middle back west just going wherever the team needed them to be amazing stuff um and no premium account which is very interesting Usually at tier 10, you see a lot of people with premium accounts, right? Especially because uh, tier 10 is a tier where you actually start losing credits at a very high uh, pace if you don't have premium account. 
So no premium account for Vintage over here, but still making a small profit of 2,000. Credits, you know, not firing the gold rounds, not resupplying the premium consumable that a lot of people have at tier 10. And yeah, you can actually make credits at tier 10. As surprising as that seems, you can do that if you don't just spam the gold rounds. So th this is why I love this replay so much, right? It shows how dangerous the vehicle is in a good position. The burst potential of the vehicle, even though it was mostly three out of four uh, with the clips. But also it shows that you don't have to fight gold to have good results. If you know weak spots, if you're in a good position, you don't need to spam the gold rounds. You can have awesome results like this one, even with standard rounds. So amazing game by Vintage over here, showing you that you, know, you don't have to go pay to win. To win, you can also just be a better player overall to get wins. Um, 1,386 experience, 2,772 due to the time stew for the first victory of the day. 69 nice free XP. And just 9 minutes and 30 seconds of, of absolute craziness, of just bursting everything and everyone in front of their vehicle. So, GG, well played vintage, awesome game, you know, going towards the middle, behind the church, was an awesome play, exactly what you needed to do. Amazing stuff, and then just good marksmanship, good target selection. To finish off the vehicles, to damage the vehicles, and yeah, amazing game. But, you know, TVP, top of the tree, like I said at the start of the, um, of the video, you can get this vehicle for a discount right now, the entire line leading up to the TVP is discounted as well, so, um, yeah. If you enjoyed this replay, if you think that this vehicle is, like, your type of gameplay style, go and get the vehicle now. You can also, um, get a 3D style for this vehicle from the Battle Pass. It is a, a funky, quirky... Um, 3D style, a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle collaboration 3D style that will make your TVP look kind of like a, a Ninja Turtle, I guess. It has some, some pizzas, kawabangas, and shells and stuff on the vehicle. It's, it just looks insane. I'm just going to put it over here. There it is. There it is, a 3D style. Looks uh, uh, amazing, in my opinion. I know those quirky, funny uh, 3D styles. I know it's not going to be everybody's cup of tea, but I personally love them. Um, so, yeah. Top of the tree. Battle pass. Th there hasn't been a better time to get the TVP T5051 than right now. So, thank you so much everyone for watching. You're awesome. Stay awesome. Let me know in the comments down below what do you think of this vehicle, of the line. Um, maybe this video actually want to, made you want to get the TVP yourself. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comments down below. Thank you for watching, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tatals, have a good one!